where I have to translate the following information into an equation and then solve. Trevor bought a bookcase on sale for $480, which was three-fifths of the original price. What was the original price of the bookcase? Use the variable p. So because we're looking for the original price, let's let the variable p equal the original price of the bookcase. And now from here, since the sale price was $480, which was three-fifths of the original price, three-fifths of p must equal 480. And three-fifths of p is equal to three-fifths times p, which gives us the equation three-fifths p equals 480. And now if we solve the equation for p, we can determine the original price of the bookcase. In order to solve the equation, we need to isolate p on one side of the equation. And since three-fifths p means three-fifths times p, we're probably thinking we should divide both sides by three-fifths, which is true, but dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. And therefore, instead of dividing both sides by three-fifths, we will multiply both sides of the equation by the reciprocal of three-fifths, which is five-thirds. On the left, five-thirds times three-fifths is equal to fifteen-fifths, or one. Or we can show the simplifying before multiplying by simplifying out the common factors of five and three between the numerators and denominators. Simplifying out the common factor of five, five divided by five simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator. Simplifying out the common factor of three, three divided by three also simplifies to one in the numerator and denominator, giving us one times p, which is p, P is equal to five-thirds times 480. Let's write 480 as a fraction with a denominator of one. Simplifying before multiplying, three and 480 share a common factor of three. Simplifying out the common factor of three, three divided by three simplifies to one. 480 divided by three is equal to 160. Notice now we just have five times 160, which is equal to 800. And again, since P is the original price of the bookcase, the original price was $800. Let's verify P equals 800 to satisfy the equation three-fifths P equals 480. Substituting 800 for P gives us three-fifths times 800 equals 480. And let's check the product on the left on the calculator. Notice three-fifths times 800 is 480. 480 equals 480 is true, verifying the solution is correct. I hope you found this helpful.